Hi everyone, this week we're gonna be doing a review of surface area. So we're gonna start by looking at a triangular prism. So you're either going to draw this shape in your notebooks or you can draw three rectangles and two triangles separately. That's up to you. So go ahead and do that now. It doesn't matter which uh, shape we start with. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this first rectangle over here. So I'm gonna highlight it in red. I know that the area, to find the area of a uh, rectangle, I do length times width. So I'm gonna write out my formula. I know that the length and width are three and four. Three times four is 12. Inside the rectangle, I'm gonna go ahead and put a 12. So go ahead and do that now, please. So inside your first rectangle, go ahead and draw the number 12. Make sure you're writing everything that I'm writing. Now I'm gonna to move to the middle rectangle which I know happens to be a square. I know that because this side is three and this side has to be three because opposite sides of a rectangle or square are the same. So if both sides are three, that means that it's a square and I know that three times three is nine. So inside the second rectangle or square, please put a number nine. All right, for my last rectangle, I know that the length is five. I also know that this has to be three because this is three and this is three, same reason as before. So five times three is 15. So inside the last uh, rectangle, please go ahead and put a 15. Now, I know that in any triangular prism, both triangles are always equal. So I really only have to find the area of one of them. That'll tell me the area of both of them. So I'm gonna actually use the same color, since they're both the same, to highlight my two triangles. Now, really common mistake is to say that the base and the height are four and five. But if you remember, we cannot use a diagonal line when we're finding the area, it's not accurate. So we need to know the, ba the base and the height. The height we know is four, that's obvious. They're giving that to us. But we gotta figure out what the base is. Well, we're gonna use the same method that we thought about before. Opposite sides are the same. So if this is three, then this base also has to be three. Now, don't forget your triangle formula. So again, you should be writing area equals base times height divided by two. I now know that my base is three, my height is four. We're not using five. So three times four is 12 and 12 divided by two is six. So inside each of your triangles, please put the number six. All right, now I have the area of all five pieces of my triangular prism. The last step is to add everything together. So you can use a calculator for this. I'm gonna write it out. So we have 12, we have six, six, nine, and 15. So we're gonna add this together. This is uh, two, this is 12, this is 14, plus five is 19, plus nine is 28, we'll root the two. Two plus one is three, plus one is four. My answer to the whole entire problem is 48, centimeters squared. All right, we're gonna look at another example for surface area. Okay, this we have a net of a cube. So you should know that a cube is made up of six equal squares. Now, these are really easy, but it's also one of the most common mistakes that we see in math in sixth grade is making mistakes with this. It is not three times six. That's what a lot of people wanna do. Three is not the area. Three is only the side length. That's just the length or the width. So the first thing I have to do is find the area of one of the squares. Area equals length times width. If you have not already done so, please draw six squares on your paper or you can draw this exact shape. That's up to you. You just gotta have six squares on your paper. If you need to pause the video to do that, that's fine. Here's the formula we're writing. Area equals length times width. I know that these are made up of squares and the, both the length and the width are three. Three times three is nine. So inside the first square, I'm gonna put a nine. 
Now you should know that in a cube, all six squares are equal. So if this is nine, that means that this is nine, this is nine, they're all nine, they're all equal. Now, the last step as always is to add them up, but instead of sitting there putting nine plus nine plus nine plus nine and so on in the calculator, we could simply just do nine times one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine times six is 54. So my answer is 54 square inches. Make sure you have this written down. All right, we have one more example that we're gonna do. Okay, this is a square pyramid. So again, your choices are to either draw this shape or if that's too hard for you, you need one square and four triangles on your paper. So again, if you need to pause the video to do that, that is fine. Go ahead and draw one square, four triangles. Now, I'm gonna start with the square because a lot of students forget about the square completely and they just do the area of the triangles and that's often why they get it wrong. So I'm gonna start with the square first. Again, I know it's a square because the sides are the same. The length and width are both 10. So on your paper, write your formula, area equals length times width. 10 times 10 is 100. Inside your square, go ahead and put a nice big 100. That takes care of the square. Now, because the base is a square, that means all four triangles are gonna be equal. So I really only have to find the area of one of them. So each triangle is the same. I'm gonna use the same color to highlight them to show us that they're equal. Now, for the triangle, my base is 10. My height is always or usually represented by the dotted line and it's telling us that the dotted line is 12. So the base is 10 and the height is 12. So on your papers, area equals base times height divided by two. Area equals 10 times 12 divided by two. 10 times 12 is 120 and 120 divided by two is 60. That means in each triangle, you're gonna put a 60. All right, and as always, your last step is to add up all the pieces, okay? It is a really, really good and important strategy for you to be drawing the shapes and writing in the areas. That will help hold yourself accountable for making sure you found the area of all the pieces. All right, so last step is to add them together. So if I want, I could do 60 times four, right? 60 times four is 240, but then don't forget to add in the square which is 100. So my total area is 340 square feet. 340 square feet. Make sure you have this written down. All right.